How to get rid of fire ants. Spotting fire ants or their mounds can be worrying, but there are ways to rid your lawn of the ants and to keep your family safe. Fire ant infestations can be treated by broadcasting fire ant bait, using mound treatment, applying lawn treatment, or hiring a professional exterminator. Recognizing fire ants is also an important part of preventing stings and infestations from building up. In this video, discover proven strategies and step-by-step -step instructions on how to get rid of fire ants in your home and yard. Watch now to learn the best approaches for eliminating fire ants and reclaiming your space from these bothersome pests. Don't miss this. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to treating fire ants and recognizing fire ants. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Method 1. Treating Fire Ants Number 1. Broadcast fire ant bait while the ants are foraging. Wait until the evening or night during the summer months, as this is when the fire ants will normally be foraging. Place a small amount of bait next to each mound that you can find. You can buy fire ant bait from gardening stores. The fire ants will take the bait within 30 minutes. Fire ant bait is designed to act slowly, so that the queen will also be targeted. The instructions that come with the fire ant bait will specify the amount to use and the best placement. Don't waste time spraying ant trails. Only about 15% of the colony forages and will quickly be replaced if you focus on just the foragers. Number 2. Use a mound treatment. Use a mound treatment 7 to 10 days after using fire ant bait. Sprinkle the mound treatment in a full circle around the fire ant mounds. Make sure to follow all of the safety instructions listed on the package. Mound treatments contain acephate, which is a slow-acting poison that will eventually kill the fire ants. The fire ants will eat the poison and share it with the queen, which works to slowly wipe out the whole colony. Mound treatments won't work once they get wet, so try to pick a sunny day. Mound treatments will only work on the mound that it encircles. You will have to repeat the treatment around each individual mound. You can get fire ant mound treatments from gardening centers. Number 3. Apply a season-long lawn treatment for longer-term pest control. Use a push spreader to apply granules of fire ant killer over your whole lawn. Cover all areas that are possible. This solution is best if you have to deal with multiple mounds that are spread across a larger area. A lawn treatment will usually rid your lawn of fire ants for a full season, you can buy these from gardening stores. It is necessary to use a push spreader to apply the lawn treatment, as applying it by hand is very difficult. If you don't have one, many rental yards and plant nurseries loan them out. Some lawn treatments are safe for native ant species. Number 4. Hire a professional exterminator. Hire a professional exterminator if you have a long-term problem with fire ants. Contact a local exterminator company that can work specifically with fire ants. Professionals have access to treatments that aren't available to the general public, and these may be more effective against stubborn fire ant infestations. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Recognizing fire ants. Number 1. Distinguish fire ants from other ant species. Fire ants are red or brown, and have variation in length, most other ant species are all the same size. Fire ants range from 1 8 to 1 quarter in, 3.18 to 6.35 mm, long. In the U.S., fire ants are found in Alabama, Arkansas, California, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Missouri, Mississippi, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia. Number 2. Look for mounds of fluffy, disturbed soil on your lawn. Mounds on garden lawns are usually only a few inches tall, however in remote locations they can reach up to 18 in, 45.72 centimeters, in height. There will not be an opening on the surface of the mound. Mounds most commonly form two to three days after heavy rain. 
Be very careful to not disturb the mound as you are searching, otherwise the fire ants will swarm and travel up a vertical surface, such as a leg, to sting. Number 3. Treat fire ant stings straight away. Firmly brush the fire ants off you with your hand or a cloth. If your only symptoms of fire ant stings are pustules and pain, use an over-the-counter medication to prevent infection. However if fire ant stings cause you severe swelling, shortness of breath, or chest pain, seek emergency medical attention immediately. Fire ants use their jaws to firmly latch onto skin and cannot be removed by running water over them. Number 4. Prevent future fire ant stings. If you suspect that you have a fire ant infestation, wear boots and tuck your pants into your socks. Look over the whole ground as you are walking, and educate children about the dangers of fire ants. Make sure that you also watch for foraging ants, as well as the fire ant mounds. Warn any visitors to your property about the fire ants so that they can take preventative measures too. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Fire ant remedies that don't work. 1. Grits. I know you've heard about this one. Sprinkle grits on the mound. Fire ants will eat them, and the moisture inside their bodies will cause the grits to expand and the ants to explode. It's a nice thought, and I've tried it. No explosions. No tiny mushroom clouds. No effect. 2. Diatomaceous earth. This white, powdery stuff made from the shells of microscopic sea creatures slices open the exoskeletons of insects like ants, causing them to die of dehydration. So it kills any ant it touches. Trouble is, it's highly unlikely to reach the queen. And if it gets wet, it washes into the soil, and you have to put more down. If you're not careful, you could breathe in the powder and cause more harm to yourself than the ants. 3. Boiling water. You know why you like this one. You want to boil those little suckers alive and hear their tiny screams. But you probably won't boil the queen, so the surviving ants will just make a new mound for her a few feet over. In the meantime, you'll have scalded yourself, and your scream won't be tiny. 4. Orange Peels Citrus oil does repel ants and other insects. Therefore, they avoid it. If you dump orange peels on the mound, the ants will simply move the mound. 5. Club Soda Oh, this is genius. You pour a liter bottle of club soda on the mound. The carbon dioxide in the soda replaces the oxygen in the mound, and the ants suffocate. If this is the route you want to go, I suggest you back up your trailer to the front of Walmart each week and haul out every case of club soda it has. You're gonna need M, because the ants will be back, asking for your scotch. 6. Diesel fuel or gasoline. Really? You're gonna kill fire ants by dumping diesel on the mound and killing the grass too? I can hear Jeff Foxworthy now, if you dump diesel fuel on a fire ant mound, you may be a redneck. No. You are a redneck. What to do if you are bitten by fire ants? Fire ant bites will often heal on their own. But if itching or swelling occurs, try the following remedies. Apply a cold compress on the affected area, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. Raise the part of the body where the fire ant bit you to reduce swelling. Use hydrocortisone cream or an antihistamine to relieve pain and itching. See a doctor right away if fire ant bites trigger symptoms of a severe allergic reaction, such as chest pain, nausea, severe sweating, loss of breath, serious swelling, slurred speech, hives, diarrhea, swelling in tongue or throat, or dizziness. How to prevent fire ants 1. Establish a protective barrier. Some insecticides can be used around your home's outdoor perimeter to create a protective barrier that keeps fire ants outside. 2. Caulk any openings. Prevent fire ants from sneaking in through cracks and crevices by caulking any small openings. 3. Apply insecticides regularly. Ant populations can return with full force within one year of the last fire ant bait treatment so applying fire ant bait formulated insecticides once or twice per year to the entire yard goes a long way to prevent fire ant infestations. Warnings 1. Keep pets well away from fire ant mounds. 2. Read the instructions and safety warnings of all treatments before you use them. Ensure that they are safe for children or pets if necessary. 
Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.